a home Leinster semi-final against Galway was the prize and offer for the winning team at O'More Park today and it was clear right from the off that John Myler's Carla men believed a surprise was possible. Team captain Edward Cody tying up the game at a point each after seven minutes. Carlo continued to show the greater urgency in the early stages. John Michael Nolan from Michel giving them a three points to two lead after nearly a quarter of an hour. Against the run of play, Leash got in for the opening goal of the game. Hesitancy from goalkeeper Frank Foley allowing Wheelie Highland to flick the ball to the net to put the Unmore County ahead. Despite the setback, Carlo continued to hurl well and it appeared at times that they had a greater spread of scoring options. Defender Hugh Patrick O'Byrne, one of five Carlo players to score in the opening half. Leash steadied the ship on the run to half time with three points in a row. Stephen Picky Marr bringing his first half tally to six points, and at the break, it was Leash ahead by 1 7 to seven points. Seamus Plunkett's half time team talk worked wonders for Leash, who scored seven points without reply in the opening nine minutes. Tommy Fitzgerald opening his account, and soon after, his team led by ten points. Three, Marty Cavanagh frees kept Carlo in touch and Edward Cody, who was now operating at wing back, reduced the deficit to six points. But Leash continued to close out the game and midfielder Joe Fitzpatrick from the Rathdowney Earl Club was on target with this long range effort. What was most heartening for Leash fans was to see the pride back in the county jersey and no man typified this more today than former dual player Kerr Healy who provided great leadership and scored two rallying points. The sight of Zane Keenan back in a Leash jersey is a big lift too and the Camros clubman buried this 20 metre free to put Leash ahead by 216 to 11 points. And things got worse for Carlo. Shane Kavanagh let his frustration get the better of him here and he was dismissed in a straight red card. And keep an eye on the bottom right of the screen. Jack Kavanagh hit Kerr Healy from behind. He gets a second yellow followed by a red and Carlo were two men short. In fact, Carlo subsequently went down to 12 players with Paul Cody sent off in a straight red for an off-the-ball incident. And Leash sub Bill Duggan rounded off the scoring to complete an 11-point victory. So after some of the most turbulent years in their hurling history, Leash are through to a first Leinster semi-final since 2005. It ended Leash 218, Carlo 13 points. We weren't happy with the performance, you know, particularly in the first half. Uh, we had to really, really raise our game there in the second half, particularly the first 10 or 15 minutes of the second, ca- second half. But I felt when we did, and particularly around the middle third, and, you know, we, we, we drove into the match there, I think it made a big, big difference to us. And, um, you know, the score started to come at that stage, and we pol- probably pulled a little bit away there early in the second half. You know, embarrassed and disappointed to have three players on any team I'm involved in sent off, and there wasn't even a dirty stroke in the game. Well, I didn't see anything. and. You know, um, it's unreal. 